Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about the statuses of people and he says وَمَنْ يُطْعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ Whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, then they will be with the ones whom Allah Almighty has bestowed his favor upon from the prophets and the Siddiqeen and the martyrs and the righteous. وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقَ And excellent are those as companions. So from what you just heard, we learned that the highest status humanly attainable is the God-given rank of Nubuwa, prophethood. Then you have after it Siddiqiyya, which is in reference to the station of those who are consistently attesting to the truth of Islam and living accordingly. So it's prophethood, then Siddiqiyya, then Shahada, martyrdom, then Wilaya, being a righteous and close friend of Allah. Now you've heard people, I'm sure in dua before, begging Allah Almighty for martyrdom. But when was the last time you heard someone also imploring his Lord for the status of Siddiqiyya, which is, as you just heard, a station that is superior to that of Shahada Mahtadim? Here we can ask the question, what does it mean to be a Siddiq, which is the title of Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu? Al-Qurtubi, he says, As-Siddiq fa'ilun al-mubalig fi siddiq aw fi tasdiq As-Siddiq is someone who is extremely devoted to the truth or to affirming the truth. He said, وَالصِّدِّيقُ هُوَ الَّذِي يُحَقِّقُ بِفِعْلِهِ مَا يَقُولُ بِلِسَانِهِ And the Siddiq is someone who implements what he says with his tongue. So by this definition, one attains this position when the certainty of the Prophet's message becomes unwavering in his or her heart. And as a result of that certainty, the effects of it become apparent in their actions, in the way they live their lives. Ibn al-Qayyim, he expands on the definition and he said, As-Siddiqiyya is the following. Hiya kamalu al-imani bima jaa bihi al-rasoolu ilman wa tasdiqan wa qiyaman. Siddiqiyya, he said, is when a person attains the level of complete faith, complete belief in what the messenger came with. In terms of, count with me, in terms of knowledge, belief and implementation. He says, therefore, it goes back to knowledge. So the greater one's knowledge and belief in what the messenger came with, the greater the level of Siddiqiyyah. And then he concludes with the following beautiful words. He says, فَالصِّدِّقِيَّةُ شَجَارَةُ أُصُولُهَا الْعِلْمُ وَفُرُوعُهَا التَّصْدِيقُ وَثَمَرَتُهَا الْعَمَلُ Siddiqiyyah, he said, is like a tree. Its roots are knowledge. Its branches are belief. And its fruits, they are action. These explanations that you heard, make it so clear why Abu Bakr was given the title of As-Siddiq. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, for example, مَا عَرَضْتُ الْإِسْلَامَ عَلَىٰ أَحَدٍ إِلَّا كَانَتْ عِنْدَهُ كَبْوَةٍ أَوْ تَرَدُّدْ غَيْرَ أَبِي بَكْرٍ إِنَّهُ لَمْ يَتَلَحْثَمْ He said, there wasn't anyone whom I presented Islam with, except that they hesitated at first, and they wavered. He said, with the one exception to Abu Bakr, he did not hesitate. Ya Allah, Siddiq. Now keep this narration in mind as I share with you the following. Mount Uhud is the name of a well-known mountain situated north of Medina, a mountain which the Prophet ﷺ loved. And once when our Prophet was returning from battle and was drawing nearer to Medina, when Mount Uhud was now in sight, the Prophet ﷺ joyfully remarked, هَذِهِ طَابَ وَهَذَا أُحُدْ جَبَلٌ يُحِبُّنَا وَنُحِبُّهُ He said, this is Medina. And that is Mount Uhud, a mountain which we love and a mountain that loves us. Subhanallah. So it wasn't strange, therefore, to see the Prophet ﷺ ascending this mountain from time to time. And occasionally, he would also be accompanied by Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman, and sometimes others. On one occasion, when he did this, the mountain began to shake. Understandable, given the grand company that had gathered upon it. I mean, you've got the greatest of creation. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam standing on its back along with three of the most elite companions the Prophet gently struck the mountain with his foot and he said Uthbut Uhud fama alayka illa nabiyun aw siddiqun aw shahidan Stand firm Uhud, don't shake, stand firm because the ones on top of you are a Prophet and a Siddiq and two martyrs The Prophet of course was Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the two martyrs is in reference to Umar and Uthman 
It's a prophecy which leaves us with the Siddiq. This was none other than Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. So Siddiq became the lasting title of Abu Bakr, which he was recognized because of a maxim which Abu Bakr lived by, which was if Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said it, then it is the truth. And this status of Siddiqiyah is not attained through this alone. As mentioned earlier, it's a prize for a person who converts this inward acknowledgement, this inward belief into an outward action as well. A Siddiq therefore is a person who is truthful in his speech, truthful in his or her intentions, truthful in their buying and selling, truthful in every one of their day-to-day -day actions, and truthful in wanting to be ahead of the rest to such a degree that Sidq, truthfulness, becomes an innate part of their existence and they excel in every possible dimension of life. Now, I ask the question, which I hope is hovering on your mind. Is it possible for us to attain the status as well? The answer is yes. The death of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam marked the closing of the door of prophethood. But the other doors, including the door of Siddiqiyah, will remain open until the day of judgment for those who are willing to roll up their sleeves and work to achieve this end. And that is why a man came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, Ya Rasulullah, araita in shahidtu an la ilaha illallah, wa annaka Rasulullah, wa sallaytu salawat al-khabz, wa adaytu zakah, wa sumtu ramadan, wa qumtuhu, fa mimman ana? He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, if I was to testify that none has the right to be worshipped by Allah, and you are the Messenger of Allah, and I carry out my five prayers, and I give out my zakah, and I fast the month of Ramadan, and I pray during the nights of Ramadan, then who am I in the eyes of Allah? Listen to the response and say, La ilaha illallah. The response was as following. He said to him, Mina Siddiqeen wa Shuhada. You are in the eyes of Allah from the Siddiqeen and from the martyrs. We ask you, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to inspire our hearts and our limbs to be truthful. Send us, Ya Rabb, O oh Allah, in the direction of those who are truthful and allow us to qualify for the high rank of Siddiqeen.